Well, I don't even know where to begin. Let me start off by extending Olive Branch. I do agree with the general gist of the criticisms against Cleopatra. I do think it will probably be just propaganda mess. It sounds all kinds of stupid and even probably very, very vile racist Nazi propaganda. However, I want to give the actual quote documentary a chance. However, that doesn't excuse Critical Drinker, and I was going to do a video concentrating on his racism, but this video is so bad that it turns out the sexism here was even more pronounced. And if you know Drinker, he's pretty sexist. I often get to see or hear stories about black queens, and that was really important for me, as well as for my daughter, and just for the community to be able to know those stories, because there's tons of them. Fair play, Jada, I can totally get behind that one. After all, there's plenty of historical people and events that haven't had the mainstream attention that they deserve. The problem I suspect they ran into with this one is that female rulers of organized nation states and... So apparently, female rulers are just rare. I don't even know where to begin with this. Well, let me be upfront. I usually don't mind looking at beautiful women. I don't think it's a problem if Hollywood shows women in bikinis or frankly without any clothes. So I'm a little skeptical of the feminist approaches to many things. However, you have to be honest that the feminists did do a lot of good things in unearthing, which was always there, that there is tons, and I do mean tons of evidence of powerful women Powerful women in Africa, powerful women in Europe, powerful women in China. You go all over the place. Even if they weren't formal rulers, we do now have quite a lot of case studies about female leaders. So where is he even coming with this? Well, you have to find a female ruler. It's very obscure. It's very rare. He's doing a video on Cleopatra and is trying to sustain, yeah, where are these female rulers? They're very rare. I, I, I just don't know them. I'm sure you don't. Yeah, maybe they've got some awesome new evidence that's just come to light, or compelling testimony from respected figures in their fields. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin color. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. Well, if your senile old gran reckons that a Ptolemaic ruler born thousands of years before her lifetime was black, then I'm convinced. Yes, I can de- Okay, well, shocker, I do agree that the historical methodology that my grandma told me is not a very good one. But then the obvious critical problem here for Critical Drinker is, well, what about you? Do you have family that's even Greek? Are you related to Cleopatra from so many years ago? No. So how do you know what you're talking about? And when he finally came to giving the evidence of, I was just stunned. I'm like, really? That's why you think Cleopatra is... ...off a lot of praise from your big friends in Hollywoods. Because after all, how do we really know what Cleopatra looked like? It's not like her Macedonian Greek heritage was a well-documented matter of verified historical record, or that we have countless portraits, statues, busts, friezes, and even coins with her face on them, all depicting her with classical Greek facial features. Drinker thinks Cleopatra is white because these images show him she's white, even though these images don't correspond to one another. If you look closely, they kind of contradict one another. He also doesn't provide any names or dates, like where are these images from? Who made these statues? Who made these images? Where did you get them? Did you provide any sources? No. And you do realize Cleopatra, right? There were many books and articles written about her in many different languages. Like, unlike him, I've studied ancient Greece and Latin and Roman history for quite a while, and I'm still struggling because it is a lot. It is a lot of material. There's a reason you have to learn French, German, Latin, and Greek to really understand this material because it is tough, and we still have disputes about it to this day. Is this really Aristotle's text? Is this really his book? We don't know. So with Cleopatra, we're on shaky ground. Do I know what she looks like? No. I don't think anybody knows. We just don't know. The honest answer is, it's a question mark. That said, that's not a license to make her into, quote, a black American woman. On the other hand, 
preemptively thinking she has classical Greek features equals white is crazy. That's just crazy talk. I'm like, what are you talking about? Were there light-skinned Greeks? Yes. There were also very dark-skinned Greeks. I have no idea what Drinker is talking about. But as usual, he's letting his sexist brain go cuckoo crazy. 